It's Ted with Deadfoot Arms. Today we're talking about the modified cycle system from Deadfoot Arms or the MCS and specifically tuning kits, tuning your rifle cal, tuning your 9mm kit, um, really showing the benefits of a dual recoil plunger system, a bufferless dual recoil system. So when you get your kits, the spring setups that are in it are going to get your rifle running and that way you don't have to spend extra money on buffers or bringing in a different recoil spring. We're going to get you set up right after the go. So let's get into it. All right, let's get into the specifics with the Deadfoot Arms Modified Cycle System MCS tuning. Um, as you probably know, the MCS uses dual recoil springs. You can see them in action here with this cutaway. The springs cycle inside each other, and then inside a M16A2BCG, this one happens to be our shortened version, but you have your plunger spring up front wrapped around a plunger, and your recoil spring in back wrapped around the guide rod and sliding inside the plunger. So when we get into these specific springs, you have your recoil springs and you have your plunger springs. Plunger springs go around said plunger. Um, when it comes to colors, you have your lightweight red, mid, blue, black is your heavy spring. For plunger springs, it's similar, although there's only two. Red is your light, and black is your heavy. When you receive a rifle caliber MCS kit, you're going to get a red and a blue recoil spring and a red plunger spring. That will come with the plunger just like that. With rifle cal, red being the lighter load, it works well to start with just the red setup, so the red spring. And this will work great for 300 blackout, 5.56, normal gas system. If you get heavier loads or you're over gassed, you might end up switching to the blue recoil spring. But go ahead and start with the red spring. For nine millimeter MCS springs in the kit, you will receive the blue medium weight spring, the black heavy spring, the black plunger spring with your plunger. Now with pistol caliber carbines and specifically direct blowback, when you're tuning this, you want to start with the heavy black recoil spring. Do that for all your initial testing and shooting to get your system tuned up. If you run into any issues like not full ejection, not uh, loading the next round, not getting last round bolt hold open, that's when you want to switch to the blue medium recoil spring, but start with the black. Now another difference from the rifle caliber kit that you'll see with the 9mm kit is it comes with a couple extra items. Along with the 9mm BCG made for Glock and Colt mags, you will get what we call a spring cap. This goes over the, sp the plunger spring into the system and will sit inside your firearm up against the bolt carrier like that. The other not too easy to see is we have a small rubber cushion bumper in the bottom of the end cap. In a regular rifle caliber, you won't see that, just in the 9mm version. Hey, thank you for watching the video. Um, I covered everything, so there's no way you have any questions. But if you do, please feel free to reach out to us at deadfootarms.com. There's more information. There's ways to connect with us. Reach out. We can get you set up. We can get you tuned. Um, over four years, we sold thousands of these kits, and we've probably come across the situation or that exact build that you're trying to do, and we know right away. Heck, we might even have it on the wall and be testing it right now. So if you have any questions, once again, visit us at deadfootarms.com.